Our first quarterfinal matchup, Uku Yuryandal and Levy Richters. If I win the half million dollars, then I build the house and I invest. This trophy I put in the living room. Yeah, the trophy it's, uh, would be really special for me. You know, I have a dream and that's becoming the champ one day. But this, this is maybe even bigger, you know. This is really, really proving yourself that you're, you're the best. Fighting and winning three fights in one night. Uh, yeah, it's like a dream. In the tournament, you have to have luck. You have to be healthy. In my mind, I'm the favorite. But I think all eight fighters have chances to win this tournament. You have to fight three fights, so for me, I have to make a plan for, for any fighter. Um, in my head, I just hope I will, I will meet Rico. 17 wins with seven losses, 13 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Levy Richters, he have uh, very good uh, feet, very good uh, push kicks, front kicks, uh, high kicks, very good knees. But I think his hands is not that good. He beat Bader, of course, uh, a lot of power and uh, physically uh, really strong. People like knockouts and he give them knockouts. If you want to be famous, just knock people out. I wanted to knock him down and it went like this. I talk a lot about uh, proving myself inside of the ring. Um, and I think fighting and winning a tournament like this, having three fights in, a, in one night, um, really, really proves um, that you're the baddest biggest, strongest heavyweight in the world. Um, because it's physically, it's mentally, it's, it's all in one. So winning this uh, says it all. The first of our four quarterfinal matchups is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a Thai boxing world champion. All three of his glory wins have come by way of knockout. His record stands at 19 wins with eight losses, 15 of those wins coming by knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.93 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 251 pounds, 113.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Estonia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Uku Yayanda. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world champion and Abu Dhabi heavyweight champion. His professional record impressive, 15 wins with just one loss, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, seven inches tall and even two meters, he weighed in at 249 pounds, 112.9 kilos. He's here in Arnhem tonight, fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands. Here is Levy, the judge, Rigger. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Thomas Novosel. Fighters. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Please follow my command. Good luck. Step back in your corner. Uku Urendal, perhaps the that strongest is. puncher in this tournament, while Levy Richters may be the most skilled. Yeah, I think so. Urendal's that what? punch in power, but it's how he's going to set it up against Richters is the key. Richters tried to land a knee. Look at these two going right. Oh. And Uku, just like that, has put Levy on his back. That was a wild combination Five, from Uku. Six, why would he go right seven, after Uku like that? Eight. This Ready? is why Hands I like up. tournaments. Just give Five. me this. Hooks don't stop. Uku's whipping that right hand like he's known for. What on earth is Levy thinking? He's trying to Ooh. bang with the strongest Ready? guy in the tournament. Uku knows Levy don't like punches and he's using that. Just throw the punches and make him go back. Oh, I, I know Levy Richters is a, an efficient kickboxer, but Uku needs to control that power. He's a big boy. He can wear that gas tank out pretty quick. Yeah, he needs to do now a little bit smart. I would like to see that calf kick he uses against Bader to surprise Levy a bit. Already you see Levy doing what he does best, that jab and the calf kick. And the low kicks is going to keep chopping away. There's been questions about Uku's gas tank, Joe, but Levy... 
apparently <laughs> says, I'm not just going to try and wait till the third round to do damage. I'm going right after him. Levy is also cautious right now. He, try, he will try to do the toes in the in the liver. Yep. He knows when he, Richter's knows when he kicks, he needs to be careful because that's the Uku timing. And tries remember, to time kicks. Remember, two knockdowns in a round and the fight will be stopped. So Rickers cannot go down again in the next minute and a half. Good point, Todd. Tournament rules. But this is exactly what Uku would want. Uku does good with punches, just needs to be a little smarter with them. Just don't throw the big right hand all the time. Save it and then surprise him. Yep, I see him using the jab now, mixing in the low kick, then find the timing with the right hand. Because also Levy, when he's punching, he's opening his hand a little bit from his, from his face. And that's not a secure weight when you fight someone like Uku. I think Uku is just now preserving his conditioning, not going too wild, have one knockdown. Smart move for him, but here he comes. Yeah, we can't even catch our breath. But this, apparently both fighters said, man, I don't want to waste any time. I want to get a knockout and move to the next round. Yeah, there's Uku using that jab now. He's got Richters against the ropes. That's the best place to have Richters if you're a power puncher. You can see how Richters don't like those punches. And every time he's just backing his body using the push kick. Uku can use that and push him more and just take him in the corner and try to finish him there. What a start for Urendal. He's trying to get that Superman to close that distance. Ooh, right hand and then a left from Richters. Ooh, and he caught it heavy. after the bell. He's lucky that a point wasn't deducted. Yeah, yeah, that was a very good right hand by, but, uh, by Levy before he wobbled a bit Uku, and Uku also needs to be careful. You can check this replay here. You got Yerendal with the low kick as they open up. Uku threw a back fist to a left hook. That was that combination. As he overthrew the right hand, he came back with a, a back fist. Look, back fist to the left hook. And Uku's got to be happy with that one there. He overthrew. Bang. It was, it was, oh. And that was right after the bell. And Joe, it was almost like to paint the fence from Mr. Miyagi with the right <laughs> yeah, and the left. Seriously. Yeah. Very strong start from Uku. Can he sustain this type of power? in these later rounds. But, but who is this Levy Richters? This is not his style. Is this is this a, a rebirth? Well, he did change coaches about like a couple weeks ago. So he's with a new team. That could be affecting things. But remember, Uku's big and strong. Yeah, he's he's trying to go punch for punch with a there monster. Now in the Levy corner, we have his uh, brother. He is now in the corner as a main coach. I can see him there giving advice to the Levy what to do. Yeah, this is the type of fight Levy wants, though. Technical, sharp. He doesn't want Uku crashing in. Uku is also risking a lot by uh, by pointing with his left arm so much straight because that's the way how Levy catches him the first time. The crowd finally settling into their seats. It was fireworks from the opening bell. Levy came out with a knee, and Uku came with bombs. Nice sharp jab there from Richters, trying to keep Uku off him. We are just now waiting for which guy will start soon. Which guy will start, start the fight first? Yeah. Who's going to pull the trigger? You always see Uku. You can never expect and how fast and powerful that right hand comes. It's also the thing. Everybody knows it comes, but it's always lands. There's Richter slowly picking away that lead leg of Uku. Now this is like a cough kick is. game. Oh! There's power from Levy Richters, and he's just dropped the monster. He touched the calf, touched the calf. Boom, he got that knockdown. I think it's done. What the performance by Judge. Wait a minute, the cameraman is in the ring. No, Uku can't even stand. It's yeah. done. <laughs> he can't even stand up. Wow, that was an absolute stunner. 
What a crazy beginning of the night. First, second round knockout. Next fight, second round knockout. Uku is really damaged. He's still wobbly and cannot go straight. Joe, if I told you Levy Richter's decided to go punch for punch with Uku Urendal, what would you have said? You're crazy, Todd. No chance he's going to do it. He's too technical and too sharp for it. But look what happened. He was picking away the leg, chopping the leg. He brought the attention of Uku oh. down to the leg. Once the attention of Uku went to that calf kick, bang, overhand right. He just switched the light the light off. Well, it's just the way he fell, the perfect time, it just, boom, what a shot from that tall giant. We will make it official when we come back. How do you like us now? All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's check in with the fourth member of our team, an esteemed kickboxing journalist here in Holland. It's Dennis Corman. Well, thank you, Todd. And what a way to start the night. What a spectacular uh, first fight of this tournament. That promises a whole lot for the rest of the night. Uh, I'm going to be backstage throughout the night, checking in the dressing rooms, coming up with updates. And just moments before this first quarter fight, I was inside the ring with all eight fighters. And what an amount of firepower to have so many great guys inside a couple of meters within each other. And you can really feel the tension, not even between each other, but between, you know, everything that goes through their mind about winning the tournament, not only the 500k, but also being a Grand Prix champion. Like, that is the ultimate prize tonight. So, I can't wait. I'll keep you posted. Back to you guys. We welcome you back to the Helder Dome. Good to see that Uku Urendal has his wits about him, but what a stunner. Yeah, this was a crazy fight. Both guys score a knockdown. They just went for it 100%, and this, this is what I like. And this new lady, I also like that right hand, creeps to the temple of the hand, perfect shot. Levy Richters with his eighth pro knockout and his 16th win. Joe, or excuse me, Antonio, this is not the Levy Richters we know and love, but I think I love this one even better. Yeah, th this one is much more fun to see because the old Levy was much more technical, much more on the side, using push kick, using kick, setting up things. But now he set up things and go immediately for it. You can see he likes that right hook straight to the temple of the head. It was the perfect shot, beautiful over the, over the left jab. It was wow. wonderful. And look at the emotion, but Antonio, it's, it's, it's key to try and keep your emotions in check because you got to fight again in about 45 minutes. Let's go into the ring as Tim Hughes makes it official. The end comes with an official time of one minute, 48 seconds of that second round and ends by knockout for your winner. And now advancing to the tournament semifinal, Levy Richter. I'm here with your quarterfinal winner, Levy Richters. Man, what a crazy fight. That first round was wild. We were shocked you were sitting in the pocket with him. You wanted an early finish. Yeah, I had to wake up for a minute, but uh, we finished the job. That's number one. And let's go to uh, round two. What's the plan now? I know you got to fight uh, again the second time tonight. What's your plan when you head backstage? Just some rest, recover a little bit, and then uh, all over again. All right, we look forward to seeing you again one more time. Let's hear it for your winner, Levy Richters. Well, that went about as other than the knockdown.